everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is a mid-2011 Core i7 Mac Mini. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the memory or the RAM inside this little tiny computer and at the end of this video I'll be showing you benchmark results both before and after the memory upgrade. So this memory that I've got here is supplied to me by Crucial Technology absolutely fantastic uh, fully guaranteed memory uh, these are two four gigabyte modules in here now you can check out all of Crucial's memory on crucial.com or if you're in the UK crucial.com forward slash UK now this is a dual channel kit and this is going to cost you under 50 pounds so this is a lot lot cheaper than buying the memory from Apple so as always clear working area these are the two memory modules and I'm going to pop these to one side just for a short while and then I just want to point out to you it's well worth wearing an anti-static strap or working off of an anti-static mat whilst you're handling memory now this wire here is connected to an earthing pin underneath my desk it takes away any static charge I've got and avoids damaging the memory or other components so the Mac Mini probably one of the easiest memory upgrades you're ever going to do. Uh, on the bottom of the Mac Mini here you can see that there's a, a, a large plastic plate like a circular disc and on the bottom we've got two little symbols here. At the moment the white dot aligns with the closed symbol we're going to rotate it round so it aligns with that open symbol. So let's do that first of all. So we just push down. It's quite tough to uh, get this moving but at the same time, once it is rotated, you will be in to the bottom of your Mac Mini. So a little bit of force needed. Come on, it's going, it's moving. Let's pop it down again. These are on tight on these latest Mac Minis. You can see it is rotating round. There we go. So that's rotated round to that open position. Now we just tip it upside down and that will release the disk off of the bottom of the computer. Now you can see inside this Mac Mini. So here we have got uh, the wireless or the airport uh, controller here. We've got a little fan here. All of the circuit boards and the hard drive are underneath all of this. And then to the right here, we've got the two existing memory modules. So before we take these out, let's just open up these new ones and get these ready. We put the instructions to one side. So this is the first memory module, and we just ease that out. Best not to flip it out like that, but in true geek and noise style, I always do that with this memory. I always seem to pop them out funnily. But here we go. Here's the second one. Let's do this one a little bit more carefully. There we go. That's more like it. So we pop the new memory modules just up the top here and let's get these ones out and to do this it's very very easy let's give you a close-up look of this memory we've got some um, two little tabs either side of the memory and to release the memory we just lift these tabs up like so and the memory just pops up out of the machine and then we can just ease this out very carefully just a little tiny twist and then we're we're out with that memory module and we pop that to one side and place that carefully uh, to a, a safe place where we can pop it inside these boxes afterwards. And then the bottom memory module is now exposed. If we were only replacing that top one, we'd be installing now, but we want to remove this bottom one as well. Same procedure, just pop those tabs out and we will just ease this up over the top tabs as well and then just ease that out of the connectors. And that's that one removed. So that's the old memory removed. And now it's time to install the new memory. So we will get this first memory module. Now what you've got to be careful with with the memory modules is really not to touch these gold connectors if you can avoid it. And also note the position of this little notch here. Uh, this little notch has to line up with the notch on the uh, receptors in the Mac Mini. So we're going to turn this round because the little notches are round about here. And then we're going to place this memory module uh, just in, we need to go underneath here, sorry, so we need to go slightly underneath there, 
into this bottom slot and then we're just going to ease that in so that's in you could hear it click into place and then we're going to lower it in until these tabs click in on either side and there we go you heard the click the little silver tabs pulled in either side and that's that first memory module installed now let's grab that second memory module so this is the second one and again ensuring that this little tab aligns with the little tab on the receptor there we place this in at this angle so above the silver tabs and we just push it in very slightly just ease it into place there we go and then we will just let me just do that again because I didn't show you that very well so we're going in at a nice angle and we're just easing it into place like so and then we're pushing it down very gently until those two silver tabs click into place and that is the memory upgrade complete so we've got the new memory inside the Mac Mini and now it is time to replace the plastic plate on the bottom so we're going to look for this white notch here and let me just swing this round so it's in view a little bit more we're going to align that with the open mark this time like so and then we're going to rotate round until it goes into the closed mark and again it's quite tough to get round but there we go just to show you that is now in the closed position so now let's get this Mac Mini fired up and I'll show you the benchmark results after the installation and also the ones that I took prior to installing the memory upgrade. So now I've performed that memory upgrade I'm going to run Geekbench again and you can see I've got some system information up here model Mac Mini 5.2 Intel Core i7 2620M processor running at 2.7 gigahertz and that 8 gigabytes of RAM thanks to Crucial Technology. Now I'm going to start this benchmark running I should tell you that the score will be impacted slightly because I'm running my ScreenFlow recording application at the same time but I have already run this benchmark so if the score does suffer I can show you the score uh, when nothing else was running on the Mac Mini. So this takes round about a minute to run so I shall pause this video now and come back to you when it's nearing completion. So here we have the Geekbench score of 8034, very respectable result. I was correct in saying that that Geekbench score is affected by my ScreenFlow application running. So I'm going to show you the uh, Geekbench scores that were made before uh, I started ScreenFlow running, just so you get an idea of the true performance. So let's go on to Safari. Now before I reveal the results, I just want to point out to you that on the Apple website when you go to configure your new Mac Mini purchase you can upgrade to 8 gigabytes of RAM down here 2 by 4 gigabytes of RAM and that's going to cost you £160 now if you compare that to Crucial Technologies price of under £50 and also take into account that when you perform the memory upgrade yourself you get to keep your existing 4 gigabytes of RAM with Apple you don't, you just get what they supply. It is much, much better to do this with third party RAM. And Crucial Technology RAM is extremely good. Now let's go to the actual benchmark results. Let me actually just uh, close down this window as well so you get a nice clear view of them. So here we go, here are the two benchmark results. Now on the right hand panel here, we have got the Geekbench score prior to doing that memory upgrade and this again was run without anything else uh, running on the system at the time the Geekbench score was 8101 now as you can see with that uh, memory upgrade from Crucial Technology we've gone up to 8270 so a very good performance increase if we look at the memory bandwidth just here memory bandwidth performance this has gone up to 7225 from 6805 so again better bandwidth performance than the Apple supplied memory and also the uh, memory performance here 5850 again better than the 5635 memory performance of the Apple supplied RAM so the overall improvement is very good a very cheap 
and easy way to increase the performance of your Mac Mini. Now, not only does it score a better Geekbench score, but it gives, gives you more uh, overhead for running more applications. It makes the whole system seem more snappy and responsive. And I think it's a great way of improving the performance of any Mac computer that you've got just by adding additional memory. Well, thanks very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel. Please check out crucial.com or crucial.com forward slash UK. And I'll see you all in the next video.